Hi everyone, Mr. T here from Sasua Beach. I'm just standing here with uh, Miss Taino, which has a nice view out here towards Mount Isabella, Porta Plata. Nice day on Sasua Beach. Not many people down here yet, but uh, this Taino is just about to be uh, placed in the water. It's going to be a crane or something that's going to take it out and a barge and then snorkelers can go down and swim around it and see the fish coming in and out of all the holes there. And then this metal stuff is going to be uh, placed down there as well so coral can grow on it supposedly. Yeah, something positive. Now let me just jump in front of the camera. I just wanted to talk a little bit about with the changing world which is being forced on us, this COVID world, new world order bullshit, you got to be prepared to adjust. I think it was Clint Eastwood who once said, adjust, improvise and overcome. But I think one of the most key factors to surviving in this new changing world, irregardless what the outside forces do or don't do, is to be self-employed. I don't know what you do for a living right now, but if you're self-employed, you're going to have the best boss in the world, you. You can also make decisions that suits your life and lifestyle, and you can also make those decisions much faster than your boss would ever change things, even if you were to persuade him or her. So there's a lot of good things to be said for being self-employed. One of the big ones is money. Nobody's going to pay you more than yourself. And, you know, getting a job, you're just providing a service for somebody, and that's the same when you're self-employed. Let's just say you do what I do. Well, part of what I do is sell advertising. If I speak to a business about advertising, and they say yes, well, now that's my boss for a short period of time, even though it's a contract of X amount of money. But whatever I promise to deliver, I have to deliver that to get paid. And that's pretty much like in a job. You have to do your job to get your paycheck. So just keep that in mind as you move forward. If you're not self-employed, maybe that's the way to go. Because governments also have an agenda to make you dependent on them. And that's how they would actually like to force people onto the vaccines is by lowering their income that they became dependent on since their job got destroyed with the COVID shit. And then instead, they're dependent, their income gets lowered until they take the vaccine. And when they're back on the vaccine schedule, because there'll be several vaccines, this toxic shit they have to take, then the money goes back up to normal. So that's another way to control people to take their toxic vaccines. Anyway, I just wanted to plant that seed because I know the difference it's made to my life and nothing's made me a happier chap in life than disconnecting from people or entities that don't mean me well. And when you're self-employed, you can find ways to completely disconnect, especially if you're living in the tropics. If you want more detailed information on how to do that, then I hire myself out as a consultant. If you're just thinking of relocating, then I do relocation consultancy as well. Just send an email to info at educatedtraveler.info and I'll send you my price plan. Anyway, I'm gonna continue enjoying the beautiful day here and i wish you a wonderful day thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't tick like and share this video take care and fight hard against the tyranny